Today, we're going to dive into a feature that I don't hear a lot of people talk about. It's using your Apple Watch as a remote control. You can control your smart home, your media, your camera, and more. Now, let's talk about controlling the media side of things. What's cool is there's a Now Playing app, and that widget will actually launch automatically if you have smart suggestions on. So, if you start playing something on the Apple TV, the Now Playing playing app pops up automatically and from the now playing app you can control your apple tv it's different than the remote app now playing is meant to control uh, media on other devices um, for example if i start to uh, play some music on my iphone the now playing app will open up and i have control of my iphone at that point from the now playing app you can adjust volume you can skip forward and back you can also uh, select other speakers to uh, play uh, what you're playing. Another media use is controlling your Apple TV. There is the dedicated remote app that is meant for controlling Apple TVs. If you launch that remote app, it's going to show you the available TVs. And if you select one, you're going to have most of the controls you have on your uh, on the remote. You have the play, pause, the um, menu button, the back button, and if you click the three dots, it opens up some additional control options such as mute and unmute captions and power okay, if you click on the three lines on the side that's gonna take you to your other available Apple TVs this is a great app not only for controlling your device if you can't find the remote but for also controlling the device for other people when they're watching you could just keep pausing someone else's show I found three to five times you could get away with it before they start to catch on now if you're looking at getting an Apple watch I've been using the jet black series 10 and the ultra I actually made a video on each of them and a comparison between the two of them if you're you want to buy a watch or just learn more about them check out Amazon they have prices so much better than Apple has especially now during the holidays next is controlling your smart home the home app on the Apple watch is powerful it used to be just like you can control your favorite scenes and and, uh, devices now within the home app you have when you launch it it will launch right into your home and you can see I got three cameras I'm looking at right here I can set my thermostat I can see which of the nine lights are on right now and turn them on or off I can uh, access my front door lock I can see my favorite devices if I scroll up I have the intercom button there so I can uh, make an announcement to my family's devices and home pods in the house if I click the back arrow I can go to my my favorites scenes or individual rooms it's like the full-on app I mean you can't write automations and stuff but from the room control and smart home control it's like the full-on app within the iPhone it's so convenient you open it up at, and with the favorite devices there if I want to just change the thermostat quick tap on it and then I have thermostat controls when it comes to the light if I click on the three dots I have in my intensity options for my lights or I can uh, go through the different color options by swiping over it's pretty impressive for even more smart home control many of the smart home manufacturers have Apple watch apps so for example on mine I have the Lutron app Ecobee Eufy Switchbot and others on here what's also cool about this is you can uh, control devices outside of your house so maybe if you need to unlock the door for someone just hit that home app and boom unlock it for them and then lock it behind them now one of the best remote options remote control options for the smart home is home key at this point I am not gonna have a smart lock on my house that doesn't support home key with home key you can use your iPhone and just put it up to the lock and unlock it or even more convenient is just the Apple watch put it right up there unlock the door I love it my front door has a home key lock and my garage side entrance I just need a sliding glass door home key lock at this point now let's talk about another remote option I, that I like it is the camera remote if you launch the camera remote you can uh, use it as a remote for photos taking 
photos of yourself or family comes in handy for that and you can also use it for video uh, one of the new additions to the camera app is the pause function for video you've been able to do it on the iphone now it's good to see it's an option on the watch the nice thing about using the remote is you get to use the best cameras on the phone you want to do a selfie you're stuck using that front camera instead use these really nice cameras set up your shot on a little tripod and are leaning up again something then take the picture from your watch depending on your car the apple watch might be able to control it ford has the ford pass app with the app you can remotely start lock or unlock the vehicle and check the vehicle health status the volvo app can monitor battery percentage fuel levels estimated range and control functions like door locks climate settings and engine start bmw's app allows you to see where your vehicle is remote locking and unlocking monitoring the vehicle status Status, and some of their cars support Apple's car feature, which allows you to have the car key in the Apple wallet to unlock and start the car. My car now has an app that has a complication. If I press on that, it shows me some of the controls I have, shows me how many miles of range I have. I can start the climate. I can unlock my car. I can open the charging port. I can open up the uh, frunk. I can also close the trunk from here. I can close the uh, charging cover flash and then honk. Another great feature is that my watch is now paired as a key for my car. So when I get close, it unlocks it and I could just open the door. Another control tip is unlocking your computer using the Apple Watch. If you go on your Mac underneath your settings, go to touch ID and password, and there's the option to unlock with an Apple Watch. And I have mine set up to unlock with my Titanium Ultra and the Aluminum Series 10. There are other remote options out there. If you use Apple Keynote, you can use this to control your slides. You have the message app, so if you get a text or a message it pops right up you have a couple different options to respond you can choose to scribble out letters or type them out on the keyboard but what I really prefer to use is voice the Apple watch is capable of so much more than fitness tracking messaging time you know it's pretty cool you uh, have a remote control for devices right on your wrist now a couple of tips definitely stay up to date with uh, the software so you can get the most out of some of these features like the additional pause button within the camera app another tip is using complication so you can get to these things faster I like to have the home app on my home screen when I'm recording stuff a lot with my camera I'll uh, move the camera remote app onto the home screen definitely play around see what you could do with it and let us know if you have some good control tips now if you made it this far please consider giving this video a like and subscribe and check out the next one next check out this video over here for some more apple stuff or this video up here just to change it up i don't know which video is there yet but it, they're gonna be good so i'll see you at one of them thanks for watching bye